Hi folks, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick on the ZX Spectrum 48K and we're looking at a game called Zoid, Zoid's The Battle Begins, published by Martek Games in 1985. Now let's redefine these uh, keys. Uh, Zoids, basically they're mechanical animals uh, based on a Japanese science fiction franchise created by Tomy, who are a toy company. So pretty much a rival to Transformers, I suppose. So this game came out also on the Amstrad CPC, the Commodore 64. It's a tactical combat game, which I read the instructions a few times and I'm not quite sure I fully understand what's going on. So here is the map. Uh, you see we've got a number of icons here. Basically it's the Zoid ID. We can identify what Zoids on the map we see any. We've got the scanner there, the yellow radar dish. Uh, that's our direction, so we can go to somewhere else. Our energy's down the bottom. Here's the map. So we put it across here and I presume we're going to scroll there gradually. On the other side we've got the green box is our status, under that is like a, I think that's another radar sort of thing, I'm not quite sure, and then we've got guns and missiles to blast out other stuff. But essentially what we need to do, we're a human being, it's the blue zoids versus the red zoids, we're on the side of the blue zoids because they're slightly, uh, um, well I think they're the good guys, we need to collect six uh, parts of zoidzilla, I hope you're following this, we need to collect six parts of zoidzilla, which I might find uh, and then we can merge with it as our human brain because you get a tactical advantage because they're all robot computer people. Has that explained it? Probably not. Now if I had this back in the day I wouldn't know what the hell was going on a little bit like now. So if you had this uh, at that time you were good at it then apologies these reviews aren't about expert gameplay. What's that? It's all about seeing how you would got on your first or second go. Can we uh no. Right, I was trying to get some more information then. Hopefully we see some other bits and pieces, or maybe uh, find some of the enemy, or maybe we, we won't. So, uh, you know, I was into Transformers, the Zoids I was aware of, uh, the Zoids animals, they're like mechanical animals, dinosaurs are the most popular, but they could be anything. Right, so we're going down this trench, we're shooting at stuff, I think. Oh, that's kaboomed us. So I will keep going until I die, which will be quite quick. Yes, I haven't got a clue what's going on. I haven't got a clue, and a clue. So we're light years from Earth. This is planet Zoidstar, and we're some human that's crashed here, and we're trying to survive and uh, fight for the blue Zoid people. Am I making sense? Not even to myself. If you're liking your Spectrum stuff, then we've got a whole playlist there. If you click on my username, that'll take you to the playlist tab. Click on that as well. Um, big thank you to those who have subscribed so far. It's a power station there. And uh, if you haven't subscribed so far, and you've watched this far into a, a rather confusing explanation into a confusing game, uh, and it might be that you like this thing, so please subscribe for me. We should help the thing grow. Big thanks to the members and a big shout out to them. Thank you, all of you guys and girls. Right, so I'm gradually going somewhere. Uh, there's my last support at the top in that yellow thing going backward and forward, I suppose. Zoid star power. All those bars down the bottom represent what strength we've got left, I guess. Are you a fan of the red Zoids or the blue Zoids? I think there was a cartoon as well. I didn't really have any uh, Zoid toys. If you did, comment below, what was your favourite Zoid toy? I bet it was a dinosaur one, wasn't it really? They're, they might be still available from Tomy or on Amazon. Type in Zoid and see what comes up. Comment below what happened on Amazon or somewhere when you typed in Zoid. Was there stuff still available? Boop. Yes. So as a kid, um, would I have gone back to this? Well, if I just watched the cartoon, um, I might have gone back to it every now and again. But um, it would have frustrated me a little bit. It's a tactical combat game, and to be honest with you, my brain as a kid, and even now, isn't really there when it comes to tactics. It takes lots of practice. Maybe you need a magazine or a guide to guide you through, or a friend to let you know what's going on. But I'm just running around a map. I think once you do get into it, goes could last a quite a long time. Right, let's try and find out, get some more information about that thing. That's a radio beacon. Why are these Zoids using radio? I thought they were supposed to be some advanced super race. Uh, let's check out there. We'll, we'll, we'll go around here, maybe blow up some of this stuff if we can do. So here we go. We are a spider Zoid, it says in the top middle. So just to recap, we're running around a map aimlessly. We're an Earth man on the planet Zoid Star. We're, we're on the side of the blue Zoids. The red Zoids are evil. Uh, we must blow up all their bases, but more importantly, click six bits of Zoidzilla to get that created. Merge with Zoidzilla, our human brain, because with the human element, we'll gain the tactical advantage and be victorious. Yes, victorious. Du, 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 du. If you've completed this game, then let me know. I think most people's uh, goals on this will be very similar to what mine were. 
Uh, not that we did that built sort of thing. If you had it on a C90 copy tape from the playground, it might be the one you was on briefly before loading up the next game on there, thinking, what's going on here? So we've got missiles, we've got bullets. I think the trench shooting bit is my favourite bit. If we can get there again, this might take us there. Right, that's a Zoidar mine. We need to avoid that. Don't tread on a mine, folks, both in the game and in real life. Yes. Uh, right, so we've got these blue things here. Can we attack those? We've got a missile set. Let's just press fire button there, right? City Dome. Well, that destroys. I hope we're not blowing up our own stuff. They are rather blue. Maybe we should just blow up the red stuff. Oh, I've blown up something there. I think something went a bit wrong. I think I should have uh, flown a bit there. I think I'm blowing up my own emplacements. So on the top right there, that blue dinosaur, that's the identification uh, to see um, what stuff is on there. But, um, you know, I think we're blowing up our own things like a kamikaze, a kamikaze nincompoop. If you're a kamikaze nincompoop, then comment below. You have to comment quite quickly, though, unless you're a bad one. Good pension scheme for a being a kamikaze pilot. Anyway, he moves on as the spider zoid. I had a few Transformers as a kid, but no Zoids. They did look rather cool, though. I seem to remember seeing them about the place. Like Transformers for the win. Incidentally, we have reviewed the Transformers game. That wasn't very good. It was more... Um, it was okay, I suppose, you did Transformers. It was more playable than this thing. Uh, but, yeah. A lot of people would have loved this, but you've got to put in the time. You've got to understand what's going on. And uh, I think there's stuff shooting at me there. Once you know what you're doing, uh, you can kind of engross yourself in the toilet. I do like this mini-game. I can't seem to blow that thing up. Well, well, there was an explosion there, but I think that... Oh, we've taken out one of them, I think. Right. Take that, Red Zoids of Doom. As I say, I'm probably doing this all wrong. But I stress again, not expert gameplay. We've seen how the game looks and sounds, and was been enough there to want to go back and play it again. Now, if you're really into Zoids, that would have pulled you back in. Uh, this is a missile attack again. That would have pulled you back in. When you're playing this, when you messed about with your toys, you would have had another fight, and then you zip back into this again. It would have kept you going. But I don't think... I might be doing a, people a big disservice. I don't think many people would have completed this. I think this is quite... Um, reflective of what most people's go would have been even if they had it quite a few times I don't think you would have played it all day every day but uh, you know I don't know if anyone else has reviewed this this on, on the line but I, I, I presume they didn't do too much better than me this is my first go folks spider zoid yes here we go here we go we're stress busting are we mm, we're not sure on this <laughs> I'm not sure on this occasion but uh, we're seeing what the game looks like as an attempt to try and review everything ever yes I think uh, time recording we're coming up almost to a thousand Zelda Spectrum games, that's pretty good, isn't it? So we'll see the good, the bad, and the ugly, maybe even the film as well. I don't think the good, the bad, and the ugly come out as a um, as a Spectrum game, but I wish it had done. This is the bit where someone comments below and says, yes, it did, and a fistful of dollars, and a few dollars more. That would have been good. The Wild Bunch is my favourite Western um, one, uh, most definitely on the Spectrum. Did come out in the Commodore 64 as well, as a great homebrew later on, with added music. Right, City Dome. If you're in that city dome, apologies, as I'm coming along to try and blow it up. I think we need to remove maneuver around stuff, but I think we bashed into a rock there, which isn't very good if you want to destroy a Zoid army uh, and on planet Zoid Star. Martech Games, 1985. Tactics. I won't big into the tactical games, to be fair. It takes a bit of an interesting mind, I suppose. Kids that were into it are probably either evil geniuses now or working for MI6. They might be the same thing. Or maybe Dr. Evil. Dr. Evil would have been good at this. Throw me a freaking bone. Yeah, he would have been quite good. That didn't sound like Dr. Evil. Perhaps it was someone else, someone lesser. Um, Inspector Badman. Right, the direction. So it's all about exploring the map. I've pretty much stayed in the same place the whole time. But I'm guessing we need the map to go red. Uh, um, I, I think we're on the blue side. <laughs> it's a bit hard to tell the way the mate is shooting I'm doing. But um, all the bullets are going. How do you fire the missile? You have to get on the missile icon, I'd imagine. Yeah, oops, I think I've taken a big one. Oops, I think that's it. I think it's game over. Look at that. That's, that's the best bit of the game. It's like James Bond. That's nice. That's a nice bit of graphic. But that's, that's the best bit. So, you know, quite a bewildering uh, game, I would have to say. Interesting if it's into Zoids. I wasn't, so I'm struggling with it. Got some nice elements. There might be a lot there underneath the, uh, the upper layer for those putting in the time. But I don't think I would have gone back to it too much. And I was, you know... 
it's it's not for me really but some people would have loved it so i hope you liked having a look at that one that was zoids the battle begins by martech games in 1985 based on those toys from tommy um, if you've got any comments about this game similar games or anything retro then please put that below you're always more than welcome until next time take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye goodbye